Really, I mean, gosh, at my local resort in central Minnesota where I grew up, there was a group of six to ten of us who all were really into snowboarding. And our core group lived in Salt Lake City, and we all would snowboard there every day, work odd jobs, and you know, do do whatever we needed to do to get by. And then continued year after year to progress. And finally, we started riding at higher and higher levels. And then one of my really good buddies asked me, asked me, he said, "Hey, do you want to?" go to the Aspen Open. And at that time, I didn't have any money. I was living in Salt Lake City, paycheck to paycheck, working at, you know, Payway and Red Lobster. And <laughs> he uh, he was kind enough and believing me enough to drive me to Aspen. And he paid for my entry fee, paid for the hotel, and I competed wow. in that contest. And in an Open, you're competing against, you know, 250 to 300 riders who want to show up and pay their 200 bucks and take two runs and hopefully you you can see kind of where you stand against the up and coming athletes around the country and so for that contest there was a first day was you just had to make finals which is top 15 ended up mm -hmm. making finals and i finished like seventh or eighth and then the finals day came around and a few of those guys did not land their run and i did and i ended up winning that contest wow. and yeah when that happened a bunch of the brands who I had been riding for for five, seven, ten years at the time already, just as kind of a flow rider, said, "Hey, this, you know, let's give them a shot. Let's start bringing them around to events." So after that happened, I got invited to a bunch of other pro events where a bunch of other brand managers who actually put teams together were there and got, you know, the chance to be seen, and then started signing other contracts with, with multiple brands.